What we know now is that tension grows the human body. You need tension to grow muscles. You need to stress the brain to learn a new foreign language. Everything we do that causes change requires a certain amount of tension. And people that are the most successful in the world think tension is good for them, stress is good for them. They love it, they enjoy it, and they move towards it in healthy doses. That's the key, in healthy doses. So in this video, I wanna talk about how to be confident in any situation. And this is a really interesting concept because before we can really understand what it is to be confident in any situation, we gotta understand what confidence really is. And I think a lot of people don't really understand the nature of confidence. They think what is confident is pushing down all their emotions and doing it anyways, acting as if. For example, like your buddy says, go talk to that really cute girl. And you're like, I don't know, dude, I'm really nervous. And then the guy says, no, just go do it, man. You can do it. Just act confident. You're like, okay, I'll go act confident. So you take a deep breath, you hold your breath, <sighs> push down, push down all your emotions, walk over there. Hey, what's up? My name's Brian, how's yours? And there's a sense of really strong push that happens. And that's not really confidence. What that is, is pushing down your emotions and avoiding your feelings so that you can act in spite of your feelings. And that doesn't build confidence. That actually teaches you to repress emotion and I've seen guys do this for years and years and years and not get better with women. And this is a real problem for a lot of men. So if you wanna change this, if you want this to shift, you gotta first understand what real confidence really is because the more you do that, sometimes the worse you get and women don't respond to that. So let's get into what confidence really is. But before we do, I wanna ask you to go ahead and like the video, especially if you've watched a lot of our videos, you're getting value out of these content and you really believe in the work, go ahead and like the video. If you wanna wait till later and see what I talk about first, go ahead and do that. But if you know you already like our stuff, I would really appreciate it. It really helps us to build the channel. Also make sure to subscribe. And uh, when this video is over, don't forget to comment. Now let's get back to confidence. What is confidence? But very simply put is confidence is acting in spite of your emotions without pushing them down. So let's say you get a lot of fear about approaching that woman. Instead of pushing that down and act and putting up a wall like Iron Man, yeah, I got this shit and walking over there, what you're gonna do instead is you're gonna relax, feel the fear and welcome the fear. Say yes to the fear. Now that's the key word, say yes. You know what, can I say yes to that fear? Can I be as scared as my body is? Can I allow myself to be scared? Can I be comfortable with being scared? The other way to say it is can I allow my fear? Can I welcome my fear? Can I say yes to my fear? Can I make my fear fun? These are questions you can ask yourself. And then while feeling the fear, act anyways. That's the key. Because the more you do that, and you do it quickly, like within three seconds or five seconds, like the Mel Robbins rule or the, the old mystery method, like I talked about in decisiveness video, the more you do that, the more confident and powerful you become in spite of your emotions. What that means is that you'll start to learn to act even when you're scared. Matter of fact, being a little scared will turn you on at a certain point. You'll see a new mountain you have in snowboarding, you'll be like, yeah, I gotta do it, man. It's gonna be awesome. You see a cute girl you never spoke to? Oh man, she makes me nervous. I can't wait to do it. And that's the secret of adrenaline junkies or people who are addicted to growth or addicted to risk. If you do it in a healthy way, you can build a healthy attraction to tension and risk. And you'll be running towards tension because you'll start to realize it grows you. It's the same as loving working out. And you learn to love to work out. You learn to love that pump. You learn to love the little bit of pain from working out because it feels good. You know, it grows you. And what we know now is that tension grows the human body. You need tension to grow muscles. You need to stress the brain to learn a new foreign language. Everything we do that causes change requires a certain amount of tension. And people that are the most successful in the world think tension is good for them, stress is good for them. They love it, they enjoy it, and they move towards it in healthy doses. That's the key in healthy doses. People who don't love tension won't run away from tension and they only do it when they have to and they try to do it in huge doses to get it done with. And in that they burn themselves out. So there's a big difference between those two. To really understand this principle a little better, watch How to Make Stress Your Friend by Kelly McGonigal. It's a YouTube video and it's a TED talk. So check it out, How to Make Stress Your Friend, 17 minutes long. It'll like really illustrate this point that the most successful people in the world, the people that have the most success, think stress is good for them and love to take action in this way. Also, the most unsuccessful people in this world, this video makes this point. 
is the people that think stress is bad for them and have a lot of stress. So it's not the stress that's the problem, it's your relationship to it, it's how you view it. So as you start to do this more and more, as you start to take action more and more, you see a little bit of stress, you say yes to the stress, you say yes to the fear, and then you take action, even if it's only, uh, let's say the girl's over there and she's absolutely gorgeous and I gotta do something, then go over and ask her the time and come back. Go over and ask her directions, come back. That's a win. And you're starting to build this habit of walking into tension no matter what. Within three weeks, four weeks, if you can build the habit of doing this, you're gonna to start to change the way you see stress in the world. You're gonna to start to change the way you see tension in the world. You're gonna to start to be able to act confident in any situation. And that's where you'll become the most attractive. Now, what does confidence look like even though you're scared? I'm gonna give you an example, a real example of a friend of mine when I watched it happen. We were at a Target. We were actually in Sherman Oaks, California at a Target. And he saw this gorgeous girl he had to say hi to. She was texting on her phone and he walked over to her, really nervous, but he said, fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyways, I have to do it. I won't, I won't be happy if I don't do it. And as he got closer to her, he said, excuse me, I just have to say hi to you. And he was kind of looking down, he was speaking with a low voice. And you know, I just have to say hi to you. And there's a little apology, do you hear that apology in my voice? And she goes, oh really, thank you. And you know, you're really pretty. And she's like, thank you, she's texting away. And then suddenly he catches himself, he's still nervous, He's still scared, but he goes, with a much louder voice, you know, look at you. And she goes, what? And he goes, look at you, you're fucking gorgeous. Look, you're making my lip shake. You're making me so nervous. And she goes, oh, really? And she puts her cell phone away, puts it in her purse, hi. And he goes, hi, my name's John. But I had to come say hi to you. There's just something about you. And she, they started talking. And within five minutes, he had her phone number. Now, he wouldn't have got her phone number if he didn't own that nervousness, if he didn't show up in the middle of it, in the middle of being shaky, in the middle of being nervous, in the middle of being a little uncomfortable, and then call it out and be there anyways. Say, look, I'm nervous, this is where I'm at. In a sense, he said yes to the nervousness. And that's another trick you can do. Not only do you say yes to the nervousness, if it's really bad, you can call it out. You're sitting there shaking, yeah, you're doing this to me and I own it, I'm a man, I can handle it. That's what you're saying without saying those words. But it's just by saying what he said, that's kind of what he said. And women love to know that a man can act in spite of his own emotions. They love to know they make him nervous, but he'll show up anyways. He'll slay that dragon anyways because he likes her that much. She's more interesting than his own fear. And that's what's so powerful. So think about that for a minute. If you start to develop that habit starting today, and let's say you give it a 30 day period, every day I'm gonna walk into, I'm gonna find something that makes me nervous and I'm gonna step into it. Even if it's only a, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being too much, one, two, three, or four, and I'm gonna keep doing it, keep doing it, pretty soon you'll get addicted to stepping into tension. And you'll just sit there and you'll go, okay, I'm gonna count down. One, two, three, go. And you'll go, one, two, three, go. And you'll be like, I see a cute girl, I gotta do it. One, two, three, go. And you'll be off doing it. And that will be awesome. So who's ready to program this into their nervous system over the next 30 days? Who's gonna do this? I wanna hear about it in the comments and I'd love to see you come back to these comments and update your results with this. And at the end of 30 days, if you do this like five times a day or at least three times a day, watch how your life will change. You'll have stepped into so much tension and you'll be building a habit of it that it'll be amazing. Now, there's one caveat. Don't try to step into tens all day long. If the scale is one to 10 and 10 to my head's gonna blow up, it's too much tension, pick something in the middle or the lower range. It doesn't have to be high. Pick something at the lower range. It will, ra it will raise with time. The tens will eventually become fives and so forth. But the key is not to burn yourself out. Find a level that you can handle, grow and learn from. And if you try to push that range, you're gonna actually burn out. So watch that burnout, get the balance. It's all about balance. And in time, your nervous system will be programmed to take action in spite of your fear without pushing your fear down, which will then make you more attractive. So hopefully you found this video valuable. Hopefully you're learning something from it. Again, make sure to comment in the video and come back and put comments later as you do this exercise. And again, like the video if you liked it, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And as always, remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video. Take care.